Hey everybody. Well, this is me editing the upcoming video because I couldn't redo it. As you can see, I'm not home. <laughs> I'm actually over here in Wyoming visiting my family. Um, so I'm going to give you some little sidebar information. First of all, I want to thank um, Kentucky Waxy Girl. That's the name of her channel. Her name's um, actually Angie. And I want to thank her. And then I want to thank the lady, I don't know her name, Scented Wax Reviews. They gave really good um, impressions, but they also had the actual scent descriptions there. So I appreciated that. Um, also, I warmed each uh, cube of wax in my warmer for about 16 hours plus. It was about, about that, except for the ones that I couldn't quite handle. No. And you'll find out which ones they are. <laughs> um, they had medium to average throw. So that's kind of... That's kind of good to know. Also, when I'm talking about um, wax being melted in the Scentsy Warmer, what I meant was if you warm other than Scentsy Wax and your Scentsy Warmers, you avoid the Scentsy Warmer warranty. And especially when you broadcast it over YouTube. <laughs> but it is what it is. Um, also, I was talking about old movies. And when I was talking about Elvis Presley and... I said Blue Christmas, it's Blue Hawaii. And with Bing Crosby and Bob Hope, I was talking about Road to Bali, not Off to Bali. So, yeah, I actually had to look those up. And, yeah, so it was, I enjoyed doing this video. I really did. Also, when I was making my notes and getting ready to create this video, I did it all on my computer. I, I kind of did like a diary of what I thought what my input was and you know that was really cool because I was able to pick up on a lot of things that I probably would have forgotten had I not wrote it all down on my in my computer um, so I might start doing that only try not to read from the computer because that looks really dorky but it is what it is you know it's I'm an amateur, okay? I'm not out here to get a lot of subscribers and be famous on YouTube. That is the last thing that I want. <laughs> I just do it for fun. Um, but yeah, you'll see me reading my notes off the computer and you're thinking, what the what the hell, Kelly? <laughs> Come on, get it together. But anyway, I still enjoy it. And yeah, so I hope you enjoy the video and take care. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to my channel, and if this is your first time here, welcome. I am so glad you're here. Well, today I'm going to be doing a review on the Destination Collection from Sensationals. So, they are divided into two parts. We have the Adventure and we have the Ocean. I also used an 8-watt element warmer from Sensi, this cute little cowboy hat, and I also used this one with the cross on it. It's I think it's called Antique Cross. It's a 25-watt uh, ceramic. So, now just FYI, if you use, for example, Walmart wax in your Scentsy warmers, you will void the warranty. So, I'm just putting that out there. So, now that you guys know, we're going to move on. All right, I'm going to go ahead and start with the Adventure Collection. And we're going to start with Icelandic Nights. Here is Icelandic Nights. Look at that beautiful picture. You can almost like see the Aurora Borealis. Well, you can, it's beautiful. Look at those different colors. Icelandic Nights, the scent description is, and this is from what the actual, what it actually is. A bright fusion of masculine lavender and brilliant bergamot over black peppered basil and earthy sage embraced by white cedar accents, green cardamom, grated nutmeg, and warm under undertones of sensual musk and ambered sandalwood. Now that is a lot. I like all of that stuff. I'm cold. It smells really masculine. Um, just kind of like a stinky masculine cologne. I mean, somebody with some bad cologne on. That's what it smells like to me. I did not like this. In my 25 watt bulb warmer, and I'm just using my computer here to read off the notes, I am picking up on cedar, pepper notes, and some of the sandalwood. In the 8 watt element warmer, I got bergamot and cedar and some sage. I find this very interesting 
but all in all, I do not care to purchase this scent. I don't hate it. I just don't think I will like it as well as I thought I would. So, yeah, so that is Icelandic Nights. Now, I will say on some of these, the, this little element warmer, you know, I know it's only 8 watt, and I'm not camp camping out here for Scentsy, but it's only an 8 watt element warmer, and it gets, 8 watts get poo-pooed on quite a bit. But you know what? This one is a charmer because it has a little crown of the hat that you put on. This keeps the heat in and it allows the, the scent to escape out through the holes. I quite like this little warmer. And so I have actually been using this one in my camper. And this is where my other test area was, was out in the camper. So just putting out out there. For the 25 watt bulb warmer, I noticed was really strong with the scents at first and then it kind of burned off all of the more details about the wax. So I found that very interesting all in all with the sensational wax. So okay, now we're gonna move on. Machu Picchu. Machu Picchu Mystique. And this one is fresh, crisp aroma provokes visions of lush green forest landscape, freshly capped with snow with a timeless and masculine inspired blend Compromised of juniper berry, iced orange peel, anchored with woody and earthy notes of Siberian fir needle and frozen moss. Now, on cold, I can definitely pick up on the juniper, juniper berry and a little bit of that orange, even though it is kind of a stinky masculine. I could pick up on that, but when I warmed it, you guys, I couldn't stand it. It ran me out of the house. I could only even have it in my warmers for about 15 minutes, so I can't even give you a good full detail. And this one as well. No, I took it out of the camper. So here we go. So we're moving on. <laughs> oh, this is a green wax. I don't know if I told you, but Icelandic Nights is blue. All right, I'll try to show you the wax. And if I'm repeating myself, I apologize. Okay, the next thing is Paris Adventure. And it's got a pretty fuchsia pink wax. Adore the city of love, scented by romantic, luxurious fragrance of... French lavender blossoms, pink rose petals, and sweet golden amber. Okay. This went for both warmers. This was so super strong. It gave me a, an immediate, immediate headache. I mean, I was just like, I can't do this. I can't do this. So I can't even give you an honest opinion. Um, other than that, it was too strong of a floral. It was probably too strong of something. Either it was too strong. Not really lavender. I'm going to say um, maybe the pink rose petals and the golden amber. I didn't pick up on a whole lot of amber. Maybe there wasn't a little bit of amber in this one. But regardless, it just smelled horrible to me and it was just too strong. I, I don't recommend that one. No. Uh-uh. Okay. Now we're going to go to Singapore. And we have Singapore Traveler. And it's kind of almost a black wax, but it's actually a really dark blue. And I know it's hard to tell. I mean, it looks just black, but it really isn't. It's kind of a dark cobalt blue. All right, so on Singapore Traveler, we have mandarin and citrus lemon add lift to fusion of wild lavender, herbal sage wrapped with cypress, warm amber, incense, and mossy woods. Now I can pick up on the mossy woods and the amber, and it does have a, an incense note about it um and also bear in mind i think i guess you could guess one cube in each warmer um it smells strongly masculine okay on my 25 watt bulb warmer this is what i said it smells strongly masculine not sure i like it i can smell the cypress and it does have an incense note but mainly strong aftershave vibe in the camper, in the 8-watt element warmer, I can pick up on the sage and the cypress much better. It smells better. It was nice and strong, warms both warmers for about 16 hours. I am sure it would be still casting off more scent if I hadn't removed it, um, but I had to move, take it out to try out other scents. So it's long-lasting, it's strong, but I'm here to tell you these are as well. Well, they could have been if I would have kept them in the warmer <laughs> longer. But this one was long-lasting and strong. So this is actually one that I'm not going to re repurchase, but I am going to finish. So that one goes in the middle of the table. 
All right, the next one is Swiss Summit. And there it is. It just makes you want to go to the Swiss Alps. Um, the scent description on this one was hard to find, but Kentucky Waxy Girl had a scent description for this one, and I'm pretty sure it's the Sensationals description. Frosted Cranberry, Citrus Burst, Delicate Floral, Swirls of Sugar, and White Musk. Now this one, you guys, this one smelled like pine to me. Like, like, after you got done cutting the pine, like the boards and stuff, it smelled like the wood itself, not the greenery part of the tree. This smells so good. I really, really like this one. And it does kind of have a frosted cranberry vibe, and that's why I liked it. It's a medium throw on this one to strong. Um, both warmers, 8 watt and 25 watt warmer, picked up on both um, scents. It says, um, yeah, both, both warmers were able to pick up on all of those notes that I could smell. So I quite like this one. This one could be a repurchase. So this one is going over here. So that is the adventure portion. Now we're going to move on to the ocean. In the ocean collections, I'm going to start with Bahama Beaches. Juicy orange meld with lemon splashed mandarin over aromatic pedigree and aspects of breezy neroli. Um, let me just read. <laughs> On cold, I do get kind of a citrus vibe about this one. Maybe a little floral citrus, but not in a good way. Not in one that I want. Um... In my 25 watt bulb warmer, I'm getting a neutral citrus. The grapefruit is far from sweet. I did find that neroli is extracted from the blossom and pedigree is from the twigs and the leaf of the same plant. Very prized and perfumery. However, I don't know if I like that. Um, Bahama Beaches does not have a beachy and it is not tropical. So that's what I came across with the 25 watt. The eight watt warmer, I just basically said, I can get more of a sweet citrus and more of the floral notes are present. But this is not one that I like. I I know floral and citrus may sound appealing, but this one just really stinks to me. I just don't like it. Um, the only thing that I do like about is the scenery in this picture. And actually the scenery of these clams are what drew me to this in the first place. This reminds me of one of those old movies from Elvis Presley. I don't know you guys if you remember Blue Christmas and those old movies and the Technicolor that would come out with the titles and the and the motion picture and everything. That's what it reminds me of. I just love it. And I'm kind of an old movie buff. So, yeah. But, unfortunately, you have a beautiful picture, but I'm not even going to finish warming this one. This one, no. No. Okay. The next one is Bali Babe. So, here we have Bali Babe. Another picturesque scenery Kind of makes you think of the old movies. Maybe even Bob Hope, Bean Crosby in their old movies. And um, here we go. Remember when they had the movie Off to Bali? I'm trying to remember of the the lady counterpart always. I can't think of her name. I thought of her name before, but now I can't think of her. She was always in the movies with them. Okay, Bali Babe, Island Fruit, Tahitian Jasmine, Lang Lang, Coconut Flower, Float on a salted breeze embraced with shimmers of vanilla island palm. Now that's going to bug me. I can't think of her name. Um, so in my opinion, in the 25 bulb warmer, jasmine flower hits me first. Very salty, not quite sure what vanilla palm would be, but there is a palm leaf element. There was a soapy scent to me as well. Not a repurchase. I don't think my hubby liked it. I caught him shutting off the warmer and cracking the window. So he's so sweet not to say anything. And it was true. That's what happened with this one. <coughs> yeah. So. Woo. Okay. Now the 8 watt element. Ah, Florals I can smell. A sweeter floral. Everything else there is just as before. Now picking up on possibly coconut flower. Wow, I just can't get over how much better this one smells using a lower wattage warmer. So this is what I learned. This one smelled a little better using a lower wattage warmer. So there you go. But you know what? I'm not going to finish this one. <laughs> I'm so bummed. I'm so bummed. Okay, now we're going to go to Fiji. All of these tropical scents. Um, 
Inspired by the beach life of Costa Rica, this aromatic fragrance is comprised of sweet agave flower infused with wild berry notes emphasized by midnight jasmine and expertly blended with lush palm leaves. Okay. I don't mind this one so bad. So I'm going to read, read to you what I wrote. My opinion um, with the 25 bulb. This one has similarities to Bali Babe. Come on with a little variation. That would be good. This one is more floral, but the scent notes has wild berry notes. This one does not have the coconut like Bali Babe. Just seems more floral. And it does. So this one I'll probably end up finishing. And with the 8 watt element, um, now this scent, now this time scent quality and gauge was the same. I did not pick up on anything new. Maybe my sense of smell is developing after doing this for a few days. I might consider warming this one with Sensi Sugar Cookie. I think it would smell good with a mix of floral, berry, and bakery. So, yeah. I don't know if I, why I typed berry in there. Is there berries in this one? Yeah. I'm thinking, man, I'm losing it. So yeah, so this one I'm going to finish, not a repurchase, but I'm going to finish that one. Okay, now we have Grease Getaway, another blue wax. Soft sea breeze bringing forward a sensual blend of sea salt and chamomile with a zest of citron. Okay, my opinion, I really enjoyed this airy light scent performed well in both warmers. I got a light citrus zest with a floral and a hint of ocean air in both warmers. And yes, this one is a repurchase. Yes, this one is fresh. It is nice. I really like this one. So, Grease Getaway goes into my repurchase pile. And then last but not least, and hopefully I'm not boring you guys to tears, we have Venice Gondola. Parisian Rose, fresh and green, joins nasturtium and iris as tendrils of sweet macarons and madelines fill the air. Macarons and madelines are cookies. And you have the Parisian rose and the fresh green. I think that's what I don't. And nasturtiums, I think nasturtiums have a very peculiar scent. And I think that's what I'm picking up on. Um, I don't mind the cookies in here, but I just wish they could have picked a different flower. That's all. Um, the Parisian rose wouldn't have been so bad with the greens, but yeah. So this one is going into the pile where I'm not going to finish. So, that is my review. So, I ended up with six clams that I'm not even going to finish warming. And they are, and they're all mixed up now, Paris Adventure, Machu Picchu, Icelandic Nights, Venice Gondola, Bali Babe, and Bahama Beaches. These I will not finish. The ones that I will finish but not repurchase are Fiji Fantasy and Singapore Traveler. And then the ones that I will finish and possibly repurchase when I get the opportunity, Grease Getaway and Swiss Summit, which really surprised me because I thought for sure my picks would be the more beachy scents but it is what it is. So that's my review. I hope you enjoyed this. If you have any questions, please comment down below. I'd be more than happy to answer your questions. You guys have a great day and I enjoyed this. Bye.